guys, tonight's book is called Little Sunflower. Let's start now. One gorgeous spring morning, all bright and warm with sun, the gardener came to see us. Our adventure had begun. I've dug a nice fresh bed, she said, all soft and clear of weeds. Spring's the perfect time to plant out all my lovely seeds. She tipped me gently from the trowel into the cosy ground. The soil was soft and warm with worms wriggling round. She tucked me gently into bed. There now, off you go. It wasn't long before my little shoots began to grow. I stretched my shoots and pop, I burst out of the ground. How wonderful it was to see the garden all around. Day by day, I grew and grew. My big green leaves unfurled. It was nearly time to show my petals to the world. At last I was all ready. I spread my petals wide. I was a gorgeous sunflower, my face shining with pride. I heard a gentle buzzing and a bee came bumbling by. Hello flower, he said to me. I bought you a surprise. Flowers all need pollen, pollen so they can grow their seeds. We're sharing it around so every flower has what it needs. All summer long, I chatted with the bees and butterflies. As the weeks went by, I felt different inside. My petals started wilting and all around my head, I felt my tiny florets turning into seeds instead. I started feeling sleepy. I closed my eyes and then when I opened them, I found I was a seed again. Look at that, the gardener said. These seeds are just the thing. Let's collect them up so we can grow more flowers next to spring. See you all next year. My, f my, f see you all again next year, my friend said with a yawn. They planted me again in spring and day by day and hour by hour I grew and grew until I was a beautiful sunflower. Can you all see him? He's a new be beautiful sunflower. And that's the end of Little Sunflower. See you all again soon.